Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry, dobry den, den dobry. Yes. Dobry den. A mogę was zapytać. Dzięki. Dzień dobry. Dobry den. Yes. Ja chciałbym was zapytać jedną, może być co jest waszym tem. Jest jedny tam zwan, mini bus, coś takiego, taki starszy jest. I jest tak na kolach. Jest to było dwie wersje tego mini vana. Jedna jest tam z 97 roku, był tu jedny pan, a teraz ja znam. To jest ten dom, co ma... To jest tady od toho, co ma zagradu. Od tego, co jest tu, on ma jaki biznes z tymi, miał jaki transport, coś takiego ma, tak? I jeszcze ma jeden dom tam, tak? I nie. Jest to też od tego, nie? W 1997 roku jest chciał jedny taki, z Italii, gdzie jest chciał. Jest też z Italii, jest? Ile jest od Amerykańce? Jeszcze ja myślę, że była dwa Amerykana, co miała, co, co tego e, skorzystała i potem tu zostawiła. On tu był 30 minut, a ma odjął. 30 minut na no. A możecie wy niego pytać, wersja tego, tego minivana? On tu zresztą bywa, ale dneska jest całkiem stary, nie tak się nie miał. No On rozumiem. zaczął przyjedzie ślepy Ale ja, ja będę na jeżeru będę. Ja się będę kompał. A tu je było... Jeżeli ja dobrze pamiętam, a znam, co pamiętam fajne, tu było takie drzewo tam w 97 roku, w 96 roku, takie drzewo było na poło i mogło się e, przyjść na, na drugą stronę. No, tak? Było, ale jak była wielka woda, tak to metro. Nie, nie była wielka woda. To się stało... potem, 90. Była, była, ale było co innego było. E, zrobiły tam e, sprzedaż te zemnie też. To je, to je, co je bilo. A ostatni dom tam, co je, ostatni domek, co je tu, na pravi strani, to je od jedne pjesne ptorke, co je to tu. Ne znam, ktorý dom je, može biti na te strani ili na te strani, ne sem pevni. O, ne tam zadi, da. Ale to je ptorka, co vse, co je bila od tu, a meni je od Indije, tak? Od nje. Tak je, ne? Ne znam. Jeste što se da, come on. A mene pamijenta pan. Mene pamijenta pan. Pamijenta ja tih amerikancev tu, čez takvega. To bil je na jezeru, zna, na kompanje. Tako, nič, nič ne pamijenta pan. Ok, razumijem. A ja tako možu vas, če moglo bi vrpitati tega pana tu, ježeli to je, ježeli to od gdje ta, od je tam minivan, to je... To je stari. Ne. Ten je rok vyrobi? Stari je... Dva, o, on ga ma, on ga ma u vlastnosti, ja mislim, če on ga ma 19 čela. Ježeli je Amerikancu, je, e, ten mu se met među 19 i 21 lat tam. No, ja se začal. Ja mislim, če je bilo, če sažal, če ga Amerikani kožištali do ostatnjega... E, to se všetko razpalo, to se je bilo tu takvega. Ale je še jedna verzija s tem panom. On je htjel vse primeti biznis taki s temi transportem. Ne znam, če robil je. Ja ne imam pojenča, če robil je. Ale on vse pri to htjel imeti. On htjel to v 97. roku, ker je tu bil i Holandci, Njemci, Amerikanci, vsi se imeli tu. Ja ne znam, jak pan to ne pamjenta. In ne vse. I on razmovjal z Italijani, če htjel bi taki Fiat. Bil je bardzo zainteresovani za Fiat. Je zbila jedna, če bi ga iz Italije uvozil tu v Polsko. Ja htjel bi znat, skoraj je to bila verzija. Je dobil to od Amerikancev. I to tak, on mi može dati dobro. Ne, ja tam to vas. Ok, dziękuję bardzo. Do widzenia.
December the 6th, 2020. Today they have a cricket in New Bochum. Actually, old Bochum. Sorry, Bochum. They have to transfer the student. Here, here, here. It's very difficult. It's very difficult to say anything because, um, you know, because of that kind of stuff. You know. Okay, meet me. Best bend. Best bend. Best bend. Best, 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 best bend. Best bend. Best, best bend. Best bend. Best. Now we go. Alina, was it big song? Some big one.
tough because very, very tough, tough because this is really, really tough stuff. What I remember, the last home here is the home, uh, I think it's on the other side of the river or something like this, a daughter, a beautiful daughter, that I was very much into. Uh, that's about it. That's the case right there. You can see the side of these uh, trees. And I was right about the stuff I said all the tree that is with um, I don't know how you would think like this this would be a profile of the tree okay, so obviously half is missing because this is what you would use to basically walk on told me this is because it was a flood in 97. No, 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 that's not true. Because, because you know why? Everything became parcelized on the other side. It started to deal with the problems of the fence and everything. People no longer wanted that place. There was a flood. It was a bad flood. But it was about really bad. Uh, it was something actually that was really in flood. Uh, people started to deal with flood.
I remember, I think that this family moved away already, the lady, everybody moved from the, from the property, it was the new people who came. I don't want to, man. There is a Sherkov, me Sherkov, now Street, Buddha, Rezafa, Sherkov, Kompania, South Army, Fazana, something like that. the trap is this is full of the trap they what what have they done here man you see this is a culture I don't go along with it. this is not right a glass you're gonna have a child coming and he's gonna step on the glass and stuff a beautiful place.
got the bag with uh, a four in my bag. Okay, um, today is September 6, 2020, and that's all there was, that's all there is to it. There was such a thing like tree right across that people used to commute themselves across that thing. The story about this van and its owner. I should say, very likely, very possibly even owners. Uh, I'm not completely certain about it, though. I, this, is, this could be a really a catch. Um, just one house from here, this gentleman in 97, in 96 already, politicians, all kinds of stuff pop up here, from Dutch, from Germans, Italians, British, and of course Donald Trump Americans big time in this village here it's called Jindabri the story about this van and its owner I should say very likely very possibly even owners uh, I'm not completely certain about it though. I this is this could be a really a catch. Um, just one house from here, the gentleman in '97, in '96 already politicians, all kinds of stuff pop up here from Dutch, from Germans, Italians, British, and of course Donald Trump, Americans, big time. In this village here, it's called Jindabri. Ale to tam ty bio tam. Ty bio dawno. Kamerad? Ka twój kamerad był tam? Nie ty. A nie ty, on był tam. Jeszcze jest? Jest? Oh, yeah. 
ale e, ja sam ti meni. On to kupio, ti kupio to u, e, u Italiji, tak? Iz Italije je tu privedu. On iz Italije tu, ali iz Italije. <laughs> On nije tam dobro to, ali je ti jedna žest. Može biti da ti jednorazovo, jednorazovo bili Amerikani tu. Ti, ti, ni, ti nim spredao ta samokot? Nije im spredao. To bi u srpski tvoj bio. Aha. Ne, ne, razumijem. A, razumijem, razumijem. Ja? I ti si čisto napravio iz svega to. No, jak novi je to. Ja? Other famous people that died uh... Look, this is October the 7th, 2020, and that's pretty much when I started recording this stuff. Uh, let's say that's uh, Eddie Van Halen. Yeah, there you have it. This, he was involved in MK Ultra. Um, his entire family was involved in this thing. Then you have, uh, let me see, this one was one of the first that I'm about to show you now. Yeah, and I was, uh, I treat him really, really badly. This is another one. Because I did, I did, Googled uh, this throat cancer. This is another one. One of the first people. Um, he got into really severe arguments with me during MK Ultra. Uh, lost it. People would somehow forget that I'm drugged up, that I'm acting under not only drugs, but all kinds of pressure things. And uh, then it was all kinds of stuff that happened. And it's, it's like I have written right now on, on the blog. It's, it's almost identical. It's like, what can I tell you about 30% of the people I estimate that bumped into me for the sake of their jobs, for the sake of the money, for the sake of whatever they were doing, films, careers, they end up either dead or crippled. 
uh, diseases ranged. Uh, it was a variety, but you're talking about maybe three out of ten people on average, and you're talking about a whole lot of people. You're talking about tremendously a lot of people. Um, about 50% of those 30% that had a problem, either disease that end up with disease with a chronic condition afterwards, or death, suffered, according to psychologist Daniel Smith, whom I remember, he talked to me about this stuff. I do believe he used the number 15%, and that's what I repeat to you, 15%. I do, I'm pretty sure that this is what it was. This was like an early, one of the earlier things, one of the earliest things they were really totally excited about. Just, uh, what can I say, just um, to show you maybe where exactly this stuff was located, I can do this so that you get an idea about this stuff. I don't know why is it show because I did bad stuff, I did not do this properly, is why. This is actually located about 500 meters away, maybe, from, from this lakes here, this, this beautiful place that I just love. Like I said, on this side, this is a poly side here. All right, let's go like this. Let me see this stuff here. Ah, there it is. That's my fuel station, Orland. You have no idea what Americans were doing to me at this fuel station. They were like, almost like you would grab the person for the throat and you would tell the person that he have to go every day and spend money inside of this gas station, fuel station for the cookies, for the food and stuff like this. I mean, Donald Trump is one tyrant. This is one violent thug, a brutalist. Whatever he had a connection, whatever there was something, there was really bad stuff that happened to me afterwards. Um, this stuff was recorded in this street here. This is the street that is the nearest to the lake. And these are the people that were the most connected to us. This this old Bohemian, his name is Tari Bohemian, it says right there. And so this street was heavily affected. But I'm going to tell you about something about the Czech people. Once they started to spread stuff that I'm behind it, that I got something to do with it, um, it was a very bad stuff that took place here in Stari Bohemian against me. It was like, the more they did bad stuff to me, the worse, the things worsen. And sometimes like in, after like 2011 or something like this, I was like, um, I was I was really really angry. I was I was angry for what I already stated on a blog, because people would not call the police, people would not inform the police. I was bagging them, uh, and I actually felt that because of the stuff like this, not only they wouldn't call the police, they would actually stop me from yelling, screaming, calling the police. At times, I would even get in the fight somehow with them, in front of the police, trying to break away. In Budapest, with a situation like this, they had a several, I think it were U.S. Marines. It it went into almost into a physical fight when I was drugged up with them, literally. Yeah, but didn't have any kind of compassion for the people that, of which some were other races completely opposite supposedly political background and so on and so forth it's very hard for the victim to understand the number of the issues these people have involved in to control other side this is extremely extremely difficult this is why i'm so powerful this is i'm so strong this is why i'm so strong i'm powerful I'm strong because I'm the most powerful man in the world because I was capable to break down million and one issues, individual issues, million and one backstabs I received over the years from these people, wins 
to the last millimeter. And from all this, made a scope through to see on the other side, basically, where I wanted to see, placing everything, basically, sequencing everything in the proper drawers so that I wouldn't fail. This was actually, you know, the only way, once I died, dived, not in a lake like this, but in a Pacific Ocean, 10, si 10 times size of the Pacific Ocean, so I could submerge somehow on the other side, alive. This is what makes me, this is what made me and what makes me special. The ability to rationalize and understand the people. It's also why I don't blame the people. I also learn to not to concentrate on blaming and taking revenge against the people. Rather toward understanding and helping them. In hope they would reach out for that better tomorrow for all of us. This is the stuff that actually separates me from other MK Ultra, from probably unlimited number of MK Ultra people. What I have heard from the people, from from people involved in MK Ultra that suffered consequences through this torture, not from the people who suffered, but from people who inflicted them suffering. Nowhere near people could handle anything like this. And like I was talking to myself a little earlier. I had a time, so I refer to them as uh, in between. A lot of times I, I was, when it all this stuff started, of course. Afterwards, not. But when it all started in 96, in 97, I, I will admit to you that my feet, I, I, I shivered. I, I had a difficulty sometimes to actually ascend on the stairs to the rail station, to the rail in Miami downtown, just so I would take a train to, I don't know, not even a kilometer, maybe 500 meters to the store from um, employment office down to Biscayne. Actually, yeah, a kilometer or two, I don't know. It was difficult times. Uh, but I was becoming tougher. Uh, and the most important, I ignored. And it seems to me that ignoring the whole thing, not taking one seriously, even that people around me were dying like fleas, flies, it actually gave me a leverage over the time, the ability to build myself the proper impression about basically what went on. Uh, that common sense, that stuff that I understood that if I would blow out and go about, I would be identified probably quickly as mentally ill and just removed. But this was their initial plan. The secondary, once I started to go against MK Ultra, regardless of it, even that that should not happen, but it did happen. They did such thing to me, and I had to go through the entire torture process, through psychiatric torture process. Yet, what separated Osma from the crowd is that I would not give in. I would continue to go on against what people would call all the odds. But I knew that in this thing here, once I'm going to dive into one, uh, there is just nowhere actually to submerge there will be time when it will be nowhere to get out until actually you come to the other side this i knew i understood that so once i did it i would not let go because i knew basically that day i did this what's waiting me before i'm going to reach that other side this was recorded on september 6 2020 on a check side of the border this is the Order River here. I am referring to a camera, another camera, another friend. I'm pointing at a house that I'm claiming, man, I'm talking to, that first I'm talking to the gentleman, his neighbor. Um, 
I try to ask him about the vehicle. If this vehicle, and I give the theory about 96, 97, about the Italian delegation, everything, and I explain, if you, if you understand Polish, Czech, uh, I explained that it was a Italian delegation along the Dutch, along the Germans, British, and so on, here in 96. And everybody, just so I've explained in a part number one, wanted to do, get either their investments, which boys from the, from the Polish side did, like I have already demonstrated you earlier. One of the guys got investment and purchased the entire area, um, wetland, if you want, with little lakes, uh, and turned that into a private uh, lease, property, vacation home, property leasing, rentals. Uh, and this guy here, he wished to have his business, to operate his own, um, to operate his own, logistic company if you like transport he just wanted to have a van he just wanted to get a hold of the van in 1997 this was a big thing in a in a czech republic ladies and gentlemen something that would take him god knows how long before he would be able to get onto something like that that was the opportunity and he got this he got a hold of this by getting someone the fiat was here really <laughs> the, the, the people from fiat by getting someone actually getting him this car somehow through Italians, they brought him this car from the Italy and he got this Italy in 96 or 97. And I'm talking to his neighbor and he says, I don't know, I don't know. I said, could you ask him this and that? Now, you see this thing here, this. There's like a little stream here that goes. And it's quite a stream. It's quite a stream actually. Um... And the thing about it is, it's like more like standing water. There is nothing here that would connect this side and that side. But I remember there was like a wooden bridge. Uh, this is like you would take a tree, you know, a tree, a core base of the tree. Let me show you so that you understand what exactly I mean. Because uh, I don't even understand how I would explain to this in English language, all right? Uh, I am Slovenian native. Um, You would place like across the river stream, you, you would place like tree base um, so you could walk on the other side. And as specifically, we do this in the Slavic countries, they do it everywhere. You would, um, what you would do is you would, you would cut this like on half long way and you, you would have uh, the other half of this tree, uh, you would just lay it across the, uh, let's say, right across the stream, and you would walk right on the other side. Uh, this here, this, this, this here, this stream, uh, eventually did have this kind of stuff. It was, it was there, it was always there, and we would commute to the other side here. We would go right on the other side. And the gentleman tells me, and I said, there is no longer here. And this gentleman told me, Andrei Mkielcho, if you're going to say something, if you're going to try to be smart or something with me, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I don't know, and bye-bye. And you're not going to see me no more. Every one of them told me something like this so that I would remember them. Not because he would want something like, or whatever. And so he tells me in 97, there was a flood which I have forgotten about it, to be honest with you. He, already another gentleman told me about this, whom also I have identified. Now, after this, it's going to be a rain of other proofs are going to follow. 
yeah, but this is just going to be proofs. This is no longer is going to be politics. So enjoy now if you like politics. And this thing here, he said, no, uh, but it no longer is. But he said, yeah, in 97, there was a flood. I said, but no. You see, this is what he resented me, probably. He did not. Uh, I, I told him it was something else. And he said, and he said, what? It was Americans who brought the idea about the sales, about fencing everything, and they did. Audrey Hauptke, everything in Hauptke is really was fenced. This is one thing I made a mistake. I admit, I told one lady over there that it was not so fenced, and I told her this because you could walk from the front to the back in certain properties that were not completely fenced. Later on, they fenced them even more, but Hauptke was the most fenced city probably in entire Poland, I think. This is what I anticipate. In Slovenia, we did not have fenced anywhere even near as much as it was in Hopka. In 96, for sure not. This was exclusive city probably in entire Poland, more fenced than anywhere else, I would say. Um, Poland was fenced, but not to that degree. Like this, not. Some cities, some parts, they were not fenced, but Hopki really was heavily fenced. But anyhow, here, this area here was not. And the thing about it is, right on the other side, everything they started to fence, everything they started to fence. There was a property here at the end. They have also fenced. This also have identified the owner of the property whom I have never met and his wife that you're talking about the previous owner of the owner who bought one, I don't know, in 2017 or 2015 or whatever. doesn't matter. This is another video to talk about. More proofs coming, like I said. Uh, and so I told him, no, they did this because they started to fence. And this thing, as I suggested, they would use. Um, uh, it's like this in Slovenian, no? This is simple what this is, right? That's actually not exactly like this but something similar to this thing here some exactly like this all right this is pretty much exactly what this was like except that that was wider one here they had wider i don't know when it comes to the water and stuff i'm like a eagle this is where i actually i don't go wrong this is this is like a memory that um you're not going to get me on a thin ice when it comes to the water. This doesn't matter what you do. No. Uh, stuff I did in a strickle with the lake is just uh, incredible. According to the strickle people alone, who no longer could hold back, and they started to recognize me in a strickle in the middle of the Poland. This is north from Luch. Uh, let's go back to this stuff here. Um, I did this. I identified this. I would not know if I was not here that actually this thing was here and that everybody would commute there were girls on the other side too so uh but never mind uh and uh then in continuation the gentleman because there was a second theory the second theory has it americans like i said just the same thing like uh fuel station oil and fuel station they shit themselves here too and they started to insist that they lived inside of the van uh, two guys and they left one over there and this and that it was that kind of stuff too low life stuff low uh if this is what you want to call brotherhood whatever um it was a stuff like this i'm sorry guys in the u.s did you hear this some of the some of the guys were rotten to the bone or there was like a really good imitators they used but i doubt it but it's possible i'm not going to say not because the stuff was started to get crazier and crazier um so the man confirms me that my theory the first one about 95 96 actually 96 97 about his van straight from italy was the right one also demonstrates me his not van but you would say you would rather say this like uh 
flatbed van. All right, let's just say flatbed van. That something that will look like this. And what he would do is he would use the parts of the of the van you're about to see to rebuild a new van. And with this van, he also managed to impress the people from Fiat who invested money, heavy money, into Fiat, either in, I don't know, in Poland or in um, on the Czech Republic. They would just love him. They would like to come to see him and so on. This is a, such a nice man that Italian people just have fallen in love with him. He also a little bit looks like Italian to me. It just really, really, really is a super friendly person that managed to impress, I think, everybody, you know. But certain people that uh, they wanted to start something more than just, uh, um, you know, they, they, I think they were tired of being impressed. They wanted more from the Czech Republic. Donald Trump was in doubt with Czech Republic all the time. He was a paranoid. This individual is a total paranoid. He claimed that even like this, that nothing is liberated. He claimed that maybe the Czech Republic is going to be actually, if something like this happens, that maybe this is going to be the first one that's going to be liberated from the Russians. Uh, he played a totally different politic behind back of the Russians. But I think this was all coordinated also with the Democrats. The politic was so clustered that if I if this thing would not happen, I would not even understand just how clustered this American politic was, how they engineered, how they pioneered uh, the whole thing. Now, if you don't understand what kind of politic we are talking about, Mr. Andre Babich, Andre Babich. This is uh, Donald Trump, Czechs, Donald Trump, they call him. Donald Trump from Czech Republic. Uh, watch the video, part, part one. That's all I can say about this here. And uh, there might be actually more proofs you're going to get if you're going to listen to this audio. I don't have the time to present all the proofs. I'm going to go now and I'm going to start just after this video. I will be doing nothing other than just listing proofs one after another. No more this heavy political videos that I actually have to break my head to recall all the memories. It's really unpleasant stuff, actually. So I can lay them down to you. Um, that's all I want to say. Well, too late for... Um, it's not all that I want to say. And it's not all I'm going to say about Andre Babish. Andre Babish came up with all kinds of theories about this, about that. Eventually, he figured out he wasn't sure about a lot of things, how things are going to happen. And, well, there is also another video that appeared here. As he started to suggest me <laughs> during MK Ultra at one point that he's not going to be doing any 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 kind of stuff like this Resignoval September the 21st I saw that uh and that they're going to try to f him fuck him and how are you going to do this to somebody who was involved who was here who threatened me who did all this shit and this was his last that he's not going to get into this against me and if something like this is going to happen it's going to happen because they're going to do this they're going to try to do this to him and this and that well during mk ultra mr bobich was a total bitch excuse me he would be like requesting more and more and more abuse against me he was like uh, just, uh, yes, I, and I came up with additional stuff you're going to have to do for me. You're going to have to do for me. And the stuff became actually so twisted with all the scenarios he presented he's going to do to me that I actually developed a headache during MK Ultra, As he was explaining me his views, how am I going to see the stuff? So it's going to be according to his stuff and this and that. 
it was just too many and too twisted and actually completely impossible according to others that have witnessed this shit right here also in Slovenia where he was, right in this house, right in this city and so on and so forth. His plan was not to help me out. His plan was to screw me up. And based on this here that he resigned, actually, this is that he's going to blame some lady that there are others that are trying to do to him. Uh, this is just a stuff. This is just yet another scenario he came up with to seek the way out. This eventually appeared on September the 21st. And they broke me the car on September the 14th and 15th. This is what the nightmare was in the Czech Republic. So you can see this stuff is all connected to my case. Um, I have no idea what he said, uh, that he never resigns or whatever, or who's going to do this, who's going to do that. This is what his interpretation was. Based on what I see here, uh, the gentleman talks about something like this. Unless they would use somebody that would imitate him all the way. And then what they would do is they would uh, actually get him to talk about some subject like this. But really this appeared here on uh, September the 21st. And this man was really, really heavily involved with an individual who hated my guts. Living guts. He hated me to be alive. And his name is a Sebastian Kurz. And Sebastian Kurz is an Austrian. Kurt Waldheim related to Angela Merkel, who also was involved since he was a student in this MK Ultra case. His mentor was Angela Merkel. He's a hardcore neo-Nazi fascist from Vienna, Austria, just a few kilometers down from Prague. The rest is audio recording. <laughs> 